Now let's go to some numbers on how NPTEL has been growing over the last couple of years. Like I said, this NPTEL certification effort was started in 2014. In that year, we just did three courses. The total enrollment was 1 lakh and uh, 3000 people registered for the exams and that is where we were. But if you look at 2022, which is last year, you can see we offered more than 1200 courses, 40 lakh enrollment overall and we had 7.58 lakh right exams. This is for two semesters of 2022. But if you see in January 2023 semester, we have grown even more. We had 665 courses. We had 24.1 lakh enrollments and 5.16 lakh learners actually registered for exams and took it up in the previous semester. The current semester, we have 692 courses open for enrollment and we'll have to see where we stop at enrollment and registration. Both are ongoing now. So we should be able to give you the numbers maybe once the semester ends. But basically, it is good to see that NPTEL has been becoming popular amongst the various uh, learner bases, which is students in colleges, faculty members in colleges, uh, working professionals, people who wish to upskill and reskill among all segments. This, uh, these certification courses from NPTEL definitely seems to be catching up and people seem to be learning and benefiting from this initiative. Okay, what are the kind of courses that we offer? If you go to any popular MOOCs portal, you'll see that many times they only offer the uh, very popular courses. They don't offer uh, all courses in all disciplines. For instance, if there are maybe only 10 people taking up a particular course, they may not be offering it because they do not have a subsidy model. But NPTEL has the advantage that the Ministry of Education is funding us for this entire project because of which we are even able to offer very specialized courses, courses at the PhD level where there might be only a small number of takers for the course and so on. And hence, as you can see, we have courses in every single discipline of engineering that are definitely offered as well as humanities, management, a little bit of law courses and medical sciences, health sciences courses. So as you can see, there are about 683 courses in the mechanical engineering division, 662 in the computer science, 668 in the electrical engineering and so on. The numbers are all given here, but you can see the variety of courses that we offer in every discipline. So I think we are very confident if somebody comes to the portal, I think they will definitely find a couple of courses that they would like to learn. If you're in engineering, it is a 100% match, I would say you will find something new, something interesting, something which is at the cutting edge of technology, something that is absolutely current that you will be able to learn. And even if you're not an engineering person, the number of courses we offer on the management and humanity side is very, very vast. For instance, we have courses that teach you German language. There are three parts to it, German 1, German 2, German 3. Then we have Sanskrit language course. We have a Japanese language course. And then we have courses on soft skill training, spoken English, business English. There is a technical English for engineers course that uh, goes on. There are courses on marketing management, on entrepreneurship. There is financial management, basic commerce uh, that is there. There is something on IP and patents. So these are very generic that kind of cut across domains. Anybody can actually study. In fact, we have courses on appreciating Carnatic music, appreciating Hindustani music and all, which again, you know, attract a very different kind of a learner base. So uh, if you come to Swayam portal and actually visit NPTEL courses, I think we can kind of be assured that everybody will have something that they would like to study from it. There must be something for you that interests you. The best part about NPTEL is you can learn anything you want. You're not restricted by your domain or whatever your current role or profession is. For instance, if you're a mechanical engineering student and you want to learn, say, programming courses and you want to learn data science courses, right, which may not be part of your curriculum, you can come to NPTEL and you can study all of that. Or maybe you were aspiring to be an electrical engineer, but for maybe because of your rank and because of your marks, you only got, say, uh, metallurgical engineering. But you can actually study electrical engineering courses from NPTEL, whatever interests you, and you can get a cross-domain expertise also. So in that way, in NPTEL, we don't enforce prerequisites for you. We do say that if you know this, this, this course will be easy for you. But if you think you can manage and you can learn and you have the interest and motivation, I would say that definitely you can go for any of the courses that we offer for learning purposes. The other good thing about it is you can also see the kind of institutes that we work with. 
primarily of course there are eight coordinating institutes the older iits uh, which started in ptel in 2003 so it's iit madras iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit roorkee iit bombay iit guwahati iisc and iit delhi so we also reach out to other institutes where there are very good faculty in respective areas and we invite them to offer courses hence you can see that we have the newer iits also pitching in for courses which are iit roper iit mandi iit patna the triple iits are offering courses under nptel icers are offering courses under nptel you can see it all here and we also partner with cmi the national institute of epidemiology imsc is there and you can also see the other uh, schools here the national law school of india university has uh, some courses based on uh, law and we also have a couple of courses from faculty who teach in institutes abroad which is outside of india so you can see texas anm you can see kth royal institute of technology sweden tu berlin we've had faculty from there also uh, teach nptel courses the type of courses we offer this is very important especially if you are a first time learner to nptel there are two types of courses that we offer for certification we call some of them as a new course and some of them as a rerun course so a new course is a course that we are offering for the very first time in a particular semester so the faculty would have proposed it and it is being uh, offered on the swayam platform for the first time while a rerun course is a course that we have recorded previously we have offered previously we have done exams previously and we are just repeating the videos again the assignments and exams of course will be new but the video content will primarily be the same and we reoffer the course in the subsequent semesters so the advantage of a rerun course is that the videos are already available on the nptel website sample assignments will be available on the nptel website the statistics of how the course did are available on the nptel website so you can probably go there you can kind of see what the videos are about whether the videos are for a level that you can cope and you're interested in you can look at the nature of the statistics there how many people actually enrolled registered certified and so on who were the toppers whether your college had any student participation in it and uh, that kind of data also you get access to and then you can decide whether you want to go in for a rerun course anyway the course is free you can always enroll and not register for exams but if you are kind of deciding on what to do i would say first time learners try out rerun courses because you have access to all this content and data new courses uh, we have to see how it runs when we offer it how students find the level of the course whether whether it is easy whether it is difficult so even we do not know till the semester is over so if you know how nptel works maybe you've done five or six nptel courses so far then a new course is very easy for you but if you are a first time learner if you are coming from a college doing nptel for the first time we would really suggest that you do rerun courses and as you can see in the july semester we have 583 rerun courses while 108 are new courses so you have a wide range from which you can pick a course that has already been offered in the past uh, like i was uh, also saying we have three durations of courses possible four week course and eight week course and a 12 week course so a 12 week course is like your full semester course so we don't have 14 or 16 weeks 12 weeks is the maximum that nptel does the 12 week courses go over a span of 3 months and they will delve into the topics to a great depth the four week courses are more like uh, either introductory courses or there will be some niche research topics or maybe some short topics that are being dealt with and eight week courses are of course just two month courses moderate length so depending on again you know uh, if you are a first time moocs learner if you are first time coming to an nptel certification course then maybe you want to try out a four week course because uh four weeks will go just like that right you enroll week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 you're done the course is over well a 12 week course goes on for much longer so you might want to try with a four week course first and then proceed on to a 12 week course but of course the maximum number of courses we are offering in a semester nowadays is 12 week courses we have 424 courses in july semester and 194 8 week courses in the july semester and 72 4 week courses in the july semester Uh, this is just to give you some data on uh, what is happening with the nptel exams now that we've been running exams for about 9 years uh, what is the attendance uh, percentage what is the pass percentage are people passing the courses that we are offering for certification because many 
learners when we talk to for the first time they always have this fear that these courses are from the iits and uh, you know isc other institutes can i actually learn from it will i be able to understand what is being taught iits are not for me they get scared of even attempting and trying a course that we are offering but i will tell you that the feedback over the last 9 years has been that if you are sincere and you watch the videos you try out the assignments and you spend time right anybody can learn any of the courses that are offered there is nothing that stops you from actually learning and studying well from a course if you put in the time and the effort a lot of students who have never ever even attempted an iit course have done multiple courses from us are today nptel stars and they are doing very well in terms of their next steps in life which might be higher education or which might be a better career opportunity or an internship or whatever else they were aspiring to with uh, through uh, doing nptel courses so typically our uh, attendance percentage in the exams has been in recent times at least very steady at about 80 uh, 8 to 90% uh, we have been hitting 90 90 except for probably the covid time that we did an 81 but otherwise we've been standard at about 88 to 90% attendance and the pass percentage has uh, in recent times been around 67 to 70% so in between we had a small policy change on how we wanted to uh, have the certification criteria hence the dip you see for the last four or five semesters we have been doing about 67 to 70% uh, pass percentage and the gender split has been a uh, constant at 40 60 40 female and uh, 60 male which is very very good considering that primarily a lot of engineering colleges are participating in the nptel program and seeing a 40 60 is actually very very refreshing and encouraging for us too